hate therapy to uh, ameliorate dampness in hyper emotive patients by Dr. William Hanscombe. Patients who have lost touch with reality often have a marked dampness to their extremities, a clamminess of the hand, a sweatiness of the foot. These symptoms result from an excess of emotive humors that are trapped within the individual due to bile deficiency. Although electrical regimens are often used with this type of patient, I have also had great success with the application of heat. The heat must be of the dry variety as hot water submersion only exacerbates symptoms by increasing emotive humors. The hot elements must be laid directly on the skin to draw away the excess uh, excesses of moisture. That does not sound like fun at all. Sounds like they put like hot burning things on you to make you less crazy. I don't know about you, but I think I would become more crazy if someone was putting burning objects on my skin. It sounds painful. Wait a minute. I'm hearing that banging again. That's creepy. Is there actually something banging around here? Hmm. I don't hear it anymore. Let's see. What's over here? Oh boy, I hear... What in the world is that? What the... What the world? I just heard a door open or something. What just opened? That sounded creepy. Is there something in here? I... I thought this place was empty. Isn't this like an abandoned orphanage? Ah, this is creeping me out. What's in this note? I didn't want to have my picture painted, but was too scared to say no. I guess I did it right, because he said I sat good and still. Uh, jeez, and patience of painting the little orphans sounds really creepy. I'm not sure I want to know any more about that. Hmm. Where shall I go next? Yeah. This doesn't look very familiar yet. Ah, what is this? Ah, some shiny objects bringing us up to our uh, ninth piece of loot. Lovely. Lots of health potions. I will save those just in case. Who knows? Still, I've got the whole thing worked out. First, uh, ain't no need for you, uh, to worry. I, I found a real good hiding place for the bag of gold teeth. Bag of gold teeth? That's disgusting. It's real hard to find. Anyway, uh, it's in the morgue, and ain't nobody goes there unless they have to. Uh, or they's dead, you know? Uh, know what I mean? Right? Right? I figured uh, a couple more days, a week tops, and uh, I'll have yanked enough gold teeth from these uh, poor dead loonies to buy us something real fancy. You just have to do your part, or which is to uh, find this buyer. Uh, the kind that uh, don't ask too many questions. I mean, uh, you can't just walk into any old place and sell a, a bunch of gold teeth. Don't let me down, okay? Desmond. You were picking gold teeth out of bodies. I don't know whether I want to find those or just to be disgusted. I want to find them, yes. Ah, I can't resist. It's gold. 
gold is good. Wow, this is a major lock on this chest here. Let's see what we can do. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. A little deeper. And there we go. Well, two pieces of loot down here, bringing us up to 11. And uh, that means that we only have two more pieces to go before we are done with this area. Too bad those potions aren't loot. Otherwise we would be done already. Hmm. This is an interesting fireplace. Wow, look at that. It goes up pretty high, doesn't it? wonder what's up there. Don't know. Hmm. Interesting, though. Oh, this is the lobby again. Huh. Okay. Well, let's go back this way. Let's see what we can find. I think we passed a set of stairs just back here. I wasn't, uh, wasn't going to go to them yet. So I figured there might be something around the corner. A set of stairs going down. Ah, there must be something up here. Holy crap! What the hell? Oh my god, there's something behind that door. Do I really want to open this? Oh. Okay, um. Dagger, yes, yes. Here I come. What in the world is banging in here? There's nothing in here. Okay, that's just creepy. Oh, what's this? Um. Hmm. Well, it looks like fuses, but I can't pick any up. I wonder why that is. That's strange. Huh. Well, I, I have to tell you all, I'm supposed to be able to pick up a fuse right from here, but it would seem that the fuse that is supposed to be here has gone missing. Um, maybe a drop to the floor. Hello, fuse. Where are you? Well, how am I supposed to get anywhere if the fuse isn't here? That is not helpful at all. Hmm. Strange. Uh, come on. Give me a fuse. Please. I need one. Uh, right then. This could put a large damper in finishing this mission. I can't really do anything without that fuse. Ah. Hmm. Uh, did the fuse roll somewhere? Per oh, yes, 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 it did! Why in the hell? Ah. What in the world is with items dropping and rolling around? Something is obviously buggy about this playthrough. Oh well. Wait a minute. Doesn't that girl look a little familiar? Isn't that... She looks familiar. Yes, Gad, she does. It's that Keeper Translator girl. Ugh. But that can't be. This portrait must be as old as the building. I don't like that. What the I hell? I hear you breathing. Oh my god. Nobody it hears me breathing. Nobody here does that anymore. Oh god. How did you get in? My name is Laurel. Laurel? Something changed when you what? saw my picture. Oh. That's why you can hear me now. Really? I want to leave here, but I can't. Oh. The cradle won't let any of us go. Mm. Will you help me? Um, sure, as long as you don't eat me alive. I up a bottle with my blood. Oh, that's disgusting. It's down in the storm cellar. It's very dark down there. Yes, it is. Please find the bottle and drop it into a drain pipe. I guess so I could do that. It's important. 